Hello there, I am Giant Crow with more Pokemon Leaf Green Redo. In the last part, we took on the whole Viridian Forest. And, uh, we got, you know, I'll show you off right now actually what we did. Uh, Everbender ended up being level 14 by the end of it, and then Giant Green grew, I think, one level from 10 to 11, of course. And, yeah, it was pretty easy because Airbender had a gust and stuff, so that's good for us, I guess. Let's talk to the Vice Giver. Hi, uh, do you want to dream big? Do you, dream, do, you, do you dare to dream of becoming the Pokemon champ? I'm no trainer, but I can give you advice. But I can, but I can advise you on how to win. I may take you to the top. Sure, why not? All right, let's get happening. The first Pokemon out in a match is at the left of the Pokemon list. By changing the order of Pokemon, you may gain an advantage. Try different orders to suit your team, your opponent's party. That doesn't tell anything to me about like how you know water and grass are really good against uh, rock type Pokemon instead of the ground types, but we haven't really run into any ground type shit. Yeah, let's take on uh, Brock. But wait, this guy's yeah, stop right there, kid. You're ten thousand light years from facing Brock. Light well, years just measured in time, not distance. I think I said that in my original walk of the guide. But yeah, let's just bow camp over the um, He just deserves a good fight before we take on Brock. Now, if you start with a Squirtle or Bulbasaur, by now you should have. To wear your Bulbasaur like me as Vine Whip or your Squirtle as Bubble. So let's use Vine Whip on this thing, it's four times uh, weak to it, so it'll do heavy damage. There we go. Took out the Geodude, nice. Now, a green, giant green. I don't know, my window froze there for a second, jeez. Yeah, but now giant green is level 12, yay. Uh, Camp William is about to use Sand Shrew. Would you like to pick one? No. I would not like the change Pokemon. Let's just take on the Sentry that's level 11. She's vine up on it. Now it's a gr pure ground type, so it's not going to be four times weak to grass or water, so keep that in mind. Critical hit, jeez. Because she's vine up again. Nice. And actually, this will actually be a very short part, actually. I mean, I only planned the gym really in this part. I know it's going to be a little short, but I think the first three parts have been a little bit long. Uh, maybe just by a little bit, I don't know. But yeah, so I want to make this part really short actually for a change. There we go, nice. Giant green grew level 13. That rhymed, heh. <laughs> Darn, light years is in time, it measures distance. I think I may have, I think I may have said why I said it earlier wrong actually. I'm gonna be wrong too. Let's talk to Brock. So you're here. I'm Brock. I'm Peter's gym leader. My rock hard will power is evident even on my Pokemon. My Pokemon are all the hard rock hard and have a true good and have true good determination. That's why my Pokemon are all the rock type. For ha, um, you're going to challenge me knowing that you'll lose. That's the trainer's honor that compels you to challenge me. Fine then, show me your best. I'll show you my best, Brock. Let's go. Get some of that Geo dude, okay. Well, I'm sorry, but this is gonna be easy for me actually, because I have the type advantage. The GD level 12 goes down. Nice. Then we rock is to use Onyx. We'll steam change Pokemon. Nope. I will not change Pokemon. And Onyx is also rock and ground type. Like Geodude, so it's four times with the grass and water type moves. It's gonna use bind, okay. Okay. And there goes Onyx, yeah, that's it was easy as that. Yeah. Giant Green Goo gained 30, 324 experience. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Giant Green is not caught up with Airbender, because it was level 14 now. Play defeated leader Brock. I took you for granted and so I lost. As proof of your victory, I confer on you this, the official Pokemon League Boulder Badge. Steven received the Boulder Badge from Brock. Nice. Just having the Boulder Badge makes your Pokemon more powerful. It also enables the use of the move Flash outside of battle. Of course, the Pokemon must know the move Flash to use it. Then we got $1,400, so we got $14, yay. Nice. Wait, take this with you. Steven received Team 39 from Brock, which is Rock Tomb. 
Steven put the TM-39 in the team case. A, T a TM technical machine contains a technique for Pokemon. Using a TM teaches the move it contains to a Pokemon. A TM is good for only one use. So when you use one, please uh, pick the Pokemon carefully. Anyways, TM-39 contains Rock Tomb. It holds boulders at the foe and lowers its speed. Now on like up, since black and white to present, um, you can actually use TMs as many times as you want, just like HMs. And HMs you can use as many times as you want in all the Pokemon games, which is nice. But um, and since this is third generation, technically, it um doesn't really you can't you can only use TMs really once. So keep that in mind. Let's go to the Pokemon again. Let's see, buy. We got some more money actually. So that's big. Cool. Let's buy some more pals if we can. Let's see here. Buy four more, I guess. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, thank you. Cool. Eight hundred thirty dollars. Cool. Nice. Okay, we're gonna heal up at the Pokemon Center real quick. So let me do that. Okay. Let's move on. So let's go um east of Pewter City now. Oh look, it's one of Professor Oak's aides. Okay, um, oh Steven, I'm glad I caught up with you. I'm Professor Oak's aide. It's, I've been asked to deliver this, so here you go. Steven received the running shoes from the aide. Yay, we got the running shoes. Steven switched the shoes with the running shoes. Press the B button to run, but only where there's room to run. Well, I must be get going back to the lab. Bye bye. But wait, there's more. There's a letter attached. Dear Steven, here's a pair of running shoes for my beloved challenger. Remember, I'm, I'll always cheer for you. I don't ever give up. From Mom. Thanks, Mom. And as again, yeah, if you hold on the B button, you can actually run, which is really nice. I think it makes, when you run in tall grass, though, so you have a higher chance of running into a wild encounter than um, if you just walk in the grass like this. Here's about three. So, yeah. So I'm going to end the part right here, so this has been the end of my Pokemon Leaf Green Redo Walk the Guide part, the next part will take on Route 3, and hopefully make it to the next place, and the next dungeon actually, which is Mount Moon. So yeah, so this has been Janko again, I would like to thank you for watching again, goodbye, and I'll see you guys in the next part of my Pokemon Leaf Green Redo Walk the Guide.